Have you ever heard of the simple harmonic oscillator? Well, if you're a physics geek, then you probably have. But if you're not, let me enlighten you a little bit. Let's go! A harmonic oscillator is a classic example of what is known as perpetual motion. What I mean by that is that it keeps moving back and forth at the same speed forever. Yes, forever. So why am I telling you this? Because we're about to talk about a phase of matter that perpetuates forever. Quantum time crystals. Sounds like something out of a Marvel movie, right? Something Doctor Strange uses to manipulate time, perhaps? Despite sounding like something straight out of Doctor Strange's third eye, time crystals actually do exist. Not in nature, of course, but they have been around in physics labs for almost a decade now. So what on earth are these quantum time crystals that I'm going on and on about? Time crystals were proposed by the American theoretical physicist Frank Wilczek, a Nobel laureate in 2004. It came out of teaching, actually. I was teaching a course on symmetry and physics. So he was teaching about crystals, a structure in nature where atoms are organized in a repetitive and orderly fashion. And from here, Wilczek began to think about whether a crystal could have a higher dimension, like 4 or 5D. Just like our 3D crystals repeat themselves in space, quantum time crystals repeat themselves in time. Mind boggled? Let's consider a thought experiment. That's a great idea! I'm with that. Picture a glass of water with five ice cubes in it. Now, what would ordinarily happen if you leave the glass on the table for an hour? The ice would melt, right? Now, imagine the ice melts, and then after a certain interval of time, say 30 minutes, it becomes ice again. And another 30 minutes later, it melts again. Oh my god! So this melting, freezing cycle that I made you picture right here is how a time crystal works in time in very simple terms. From this example, you probably see how a time crystal would defy the laws of physics by staying in the prohibited perpetual motion state. It also defies any laws of entropy since no energy is being absorbed or released whatsoever. Now, let's dive into a more sci-fi aspect of these good-for-nothing seeming time crystals. Scientists believe that quantum time crystals might as well be the future of quantum computing technology. Too much of the word quantum? Let's break it down. Mm. Quantum theory suggests that electrons can be in a fixed energy level or quantized states, and this theory is used to describe the properties of atomic and subatomic particles. Now, quantum computing is a method of computation that uses quantum mechanics to solve several problems as fast as you can imagine. So, quantum computers are expected to be way more powerful than our modern-day supercomputers. They used states called qubits, much like the ones and zeros in the average computer. Physicists believe that the state of these qubits can be manipulated using time crystals, such that they keep perpetuating without losing power or energy. And if successful, this could even be used to power our smartphones in the future. So hang on tight, the future of quantum time crystals indeed is bright.